Paul. The branch of physics. Actually, I don't have its notes prepared. I have so the normal book. Okay? I have the normal book. Switch. Okay. The branch of physics deals with the study of. Electron emitting devices. Electron emitting devices. Yeah. Including Still law semiconductors. Basically, when semiconductors were introduced, and then we type and type. Materials were introduced, transistors, diodes, operational amplifiers, A stable and bi stable circuits, which are necessary for. memory devices um. computers mobiles cell phone Electronic sensors, LED devices, etc. The application of Electronics, right? This is a brief introduction of electronics. Basically, the key thing that was uh, a revolution in physics, or you can say it's a revolution in um, electronics. That was actually introduction of semiconductors. The most important part is semiconductors. So, first of all, we should discuss what are semiconductors. As its name speaks itself, semiconductors. Those materials 
which conduct electricity you know limited amount or for semiconductors they are group four members like uh, and germanium these are the most famous semiconductors that i use okay yeah because they come in group 4 so they actually come to the stair case of uh, they are also called metalloids if i'm not wrong in mm. chemistry we call them metalloids because they are uh, at the border line of metals and non metals okay yeah. so uh, they have uh, four electrons in their valence shell and that is the reason that make them amazing materials and they are doped with different kind of materials now what is doping do you have any idea of what is doping when you dope test in sports it's very famous term that dope test is is done for players whether they are doped or not yeah so what is the meaning of dope drug drug it's commonly it's taken as drug but taking something additive to enhance your performance mm. take something in addition to enhance performance is called doping okay okay this is a general term but particularly it is used in sports for uh, like drugs mm. but small drugs is general general meaning is taking something additive which enhances the performance so in this context of electronics when we talk about doping of semiconductors basically we are talking about uh, mixing of different kind of materials in semiconductors to make them more responsive towards electric supply or enhance their electric conductivity by adding them with some other materials mixing this is for do so i'm mixing what in other kind of materials other materials with semiconductor material to enhance the performance to enhance the conductivity of semiconductors okay. semiconductors allow electric current in limited supply right mm. so in order to enhance their performance we do addition of uh, some other materials in it which can enhance their performance Mm. right uh basically and it is done by either adding adding group 3 or group 5 member into the crystal crystals of semiconductor material enhances the conductivity
of the semiconductor this process is called doping of oh, issue right here doping of semi conductors right yeah. and why only group 3 and group 5 members are considered because in group 4 you are adding like a group 5 member if you add group 4 with group 5 group 4 with group 5 mm -hmm. what happens there are uh, four valence electrons with five no with three three with five 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 valence electrons yes so what happens when they are added octave is completed with eight eight electron b and octave right mm. octave completed but single electron because this is actually nine electrons when they are mixed together single electron is left in the crystal as free electron and i equals to n a v e implies that i is directly proportional to n Right. Yeah. The number of electrons per unit volume are increasing, so conductivity is increased. Current is increased, and current passes through it. It is increased, isn't it? Yeah. So the conductivity is increased. So the conductivity. is increased such oh, such material is called n type material negative type material this so is negative type start i give you an example like uh, if uh, i give you two balls to hold them in your hands you can hold one ball in one hand not two at once right they yeah. are bigger in size okay if i give you another third ball you can not hold it right mm. so it's just like the same case eight electrons are simply carried by a uh, valence electron right valence shell right when they are merged together so octave is completed by eight electron but we deliberately mix it with with group 5 member like uh, take some example like we are taking silicon here and here we have example of uh, nitrogen right Nitrogen has five valence electrons. Silicon has four valence electrons. So eight electrons are making a complete octave, but one electron is spared, and that becomes a free electron. So it increases the number of free electrons in the in the combination. So which increases the conductivity of the of the material. So it is called n-type material. Why it is called n-type material? Because because of 
एक्सिस नंबर ऑफ फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन सो इट इज कॉल्ड एन टाइप मटीरियल मीन्स नेगेटिव टाइप मटीरियल बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एक्सिस नंबर ऑफ फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन राइट so it's uh, n type material now for p type material how p type material is made guru four with group 3 group 4 main example group 4 is like carbon or silicon or germanium whatever you take so the time silicon is used sometimes germanium is used and like aluminum so it has uh, four valence electrons It has three valence electrons. Four plus three plus two seven. Yes. Here we have a deficiency of one electron. Uh, deficiency of single electron. Book says fifty positive or a uh, uh, or a hole. So I am writing W H hole. This, these are called holes. Like uh, this is how we make n-type material. We should show by dots, and this is how we show p-type material. We make holes like this. Mm. Hole means deficiency of an electron. Here, efficiency of electron. Here, deficiency of electron. This is n-type material. This is p-type positive type material. But then, sir, is there a difference in properties? Yeah, there is a huge difference. N-type has free or uh, mobile neg uh, negative charge available. Here, in, whereas in uh, p-type we have positive holes are available for conductivity. Although conductivity is increased in both cases, that's why it is called doping. Mm. Doping means increasing and enhancing performance by additives mm. in general, right? So we are increasing performance of uh, uh, of material by uh, two ways. Either we are adding group five member, which increases free electrons in the in the crystal, so it's it's having. A, uh, Excess number of free electrons, so it's n-type material. If, on, uh, on the contrary, if it is merged with group three member like uh, aluminium, then it has uh, deficiency of one electron left in every crystal. So you can say it's actually uh, free or mobile positive charges available for conduction of electrons. Okay. 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 These are called p-type and n-type materials after doping. J. Yeah. Okay. and then term diode comes what is the meaning of diode and ode you must have studied cathode and anode mm. it's uh, two electrodes yes cathode And anode, and then diode. Cathode means negative, G. negative plate, G. 
and anode is positive. Anode is positive. And the anode collects anions, cathode collects cations, right? Diode means both positive and negative. And how it works? Actually, diode is made when a when a P type substance भी कहते हैं material भी कहते हैं एक ही बात material is cemented at high temperature with n type material some of the holes at junction are filled up by electrons which jump into p type material mm. neutral layer at the junction this junction is called P and junction. P and junction. Which stops the further exchange of electrons. As being positive layer, as being neutral layer, it stops for the exchange of electron. So one side of the layer carries cis negative. And in the electron, right? Yeah. In n type. And the other side carries excess positive. Holds in P type. So it is called diode. So the the positive side or the P uh, P layer will will be towards the negative part, yeah. I show you that. when you merge two kind of materials together, just cement them together. 
one is like p type the other one is n type mm. in p type there are both right like this I have three electrons like this. When you heat up them and cement them together, stick them together, what happens at the junction? At the junction, there is no excess or no uh, deficiency, so it's some of that to the holes. Potential barrier is created here, which is stops for the flow of electrons. This neutral layer is called depletion layer. Depletion layer. I am not sure about the spelling. It might be wrong. It's looking wrong. Depletion layer. It's called depletion layer. I am sure about it. This term is not included in your syllabus. Sort it higher up physics. But this spelling is wrong. So just check this spelling. I am sure this is wrong. Depletion layer has some different aspect. So, so it's E, E and P L E, D E and P L E. E, D E P L E T I O N. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> so depletion layer, uh, uh, not type. Depletion layer. Neutral. Layer, which works as potential barrier. So on one side, positive charge is accumulated. On one side, negative charge is accumulated. Yeah. So this becomes P N junction. This becomes P-N junction, and as both kind of charges are accumulated on both sides, so it's called diode. G. Okay. But this is not a symbolic representation. For symbolic representation, we just make like this. We need not to draw this kind of stuff every time. Triangle and a wall. To, yeah. Simply make a triangle. See, this one is bigger line. G. This one is bigger line, right? Yeah. And this one is smaller line, just like in a cell. Bigger line represent positive. A smaller line represent ne negative in a cell. Okay. Mm. In the same manner, this side is bigger. So this is for P type. Mm. This one is smaller, so it's for N type. But this is interpretation. It's not necessary to be mentioned. Okay. Yeah. So this is actually symbolic representation. Symbol. Uh, symbolic representation of a diode. Is that clear? Okay. Yeah. And by the way, what is the significance of a diode? We have already studied in uh, alternating currents. G. It's to make it uh, for rectification. For half wave rectification. We, if, if we connect sing, a single diode, it becomes a half wave, wave rectifier. Otherwise, we need to have a bridge rectifier for it. Mm. A combination of um, diodes, for, right? Four diodes. Used for putting alternating current into direct current. So basically. A uh, diode uh, is a one way for electric current. Mm. Okay. okay. One way for electric current, so it just allows current in this direction, in one direction. If this diode now we are making symbolically, we are not making the whole stuff 
how bulls are present and how uh, three lacrons are there in the end type. So we are just skipping that part. It's not there in, in, in your examination. It's not assessed in examination. But without knowing this basic knowledge, how you can uh, understand what is the uh, purpose of this symbol and how it works and how it is actually presenting everything. If and is connected to positive, this one is connected with negative. What happens? If you see this diagram, this one, original diagram, if P type is connected to positive and N type is connected to negative, what happens? Negative and negative are repelled, positive, positive repelled. So this depletion layer is reduced or potential barrier is decreased. So it conducts electrical. Mm. So it's called forward bias. This is only if the P is connected to positive and N is connected to negative. Yeah. Forward bias when P is at positive potential, this end is at positive potential, this end is at negative potential. So it conducts. Mm. But when this end is of the diode is connected to negative terminal and this end is connected to positive terminal, it is called reverse bias. No conduction. Mm. But if you increase the potential difference by much more like voltage, like 100,000 uh, volt, if you apply so much high voltage to a diode, this mm. diode burns. Mm. Means conduction happens. Okay. So it has some limit of voltage. You might have seen some ICs in your computer, they are burned. Mm. What is IC stands for? I don't know. IC stands for ICs in computers, right? IC stands for integrated circuit. And what kind of integration is this? One integration you have studied in mathematics. This is <laughs> integration of physics. What kind of integration is this? This is integration of physics. Uh, resistors, capacitors, inductors, etc. I am writing etc. because there are some other electronic devices like uh, operational amplifier, transistor. So these are also coming ahead, right? Mm. So this is basic introduction of, uh, I mean, electronics. So you got to know what is forward bias, what is reverse bias, forward bias, reverse bias. It's simply connectivity with with supply. Mm. And as this P type is at positive potential, N type is at negative potential. Depletion layer is actually reduced. Conductivity is increased, so it conducts electric current through, but it passes through in this direction, right? Mm -hmm. But here I equals to zero. No current passes through it because when P type is like uh, P type is at negative potential, like if this is at negative, this is at positive. What happens? Positive charge. Positive potential because of particular positive potential at this wire, it means already deficiency of electrons are there in, in this wire. When you connect it to n types, these electrons are attracted over here, and this is already having deficient uh, efficiency of electrons. So positive charge is attracted on this side, negative charge is attracted. So both charges move away. So this depletion layer is increased. So this neutral layer increases or it becomes an insulation between the two ends. Mm. It works as insulator. So mm. no electric can pass through. Okay. Same how it works practically. Without knowing this knowledge of P-type and N-type, you cannot understand that. I'm sure about it. You can just yeah. do wrong, like reverse bias doesn't allow current, but why doesn't it allow, why forward bias allows you cannot answer this question unless you know the basic story behind it. Okay. Mm. And we have uh, some 
Details of farm system. Our sister is actually Peter. Hello. Device. Uh, no. Okay. Which, uh, a device which has three terminals. The three terminals which is used. And there are going to the for and kinds of consistent. There are two kinds of consistent. So what's this? Sir, I was near. Pick it up. Uh, PNP transistor and N NPN transistor. Mm. There are two kinds. When two P material Sandwich a small layer of uh, N material. I think I should make a little further apart. Two thick layers of P type sandwiching very thin layer of P type. I'm just making a little thicker just to make you understand something. P type and type and P type. So that's three terminals like this, this, and this. This is called base. One is, and one is called, uh, a meter and Receiver, receiver, no, not receiver. There's some other term for it. Uh, I don't remember that. Receiver, but it's not receiver. In case it has some other term, I'm writing it here. PNP transistor has like P materials on both sides and N material in the base. Okay. So basically, there are uh, two PN junctions. So is it called collector? Yes, thank you. <laughs> I just And so your voice I was saying going in and the, out. Emitter, collector, and base. So we have actually two junctions. One junction is here, the other junction is here. Mm. Two junctions. Mm. 
okay in p type we have uh, like uh, and type we have dots like this and this is very important their sizes must be done. in the same manner we have npn transistor just like this npn is like this is an n type material n type is p type and this is n type mm. time is holes like this okay one is and letter and hello this is like okay hello okay. okay you hear me now mm. so we have uh, two kinds of transistors but what is the purpose of transistor to switch current with a small change in base current basically small change in base current in wires or switches on slash off large current between emitter and collector this is how it functions right mm. very small change in current can invite large change in current like in large increase or or i mean can switch on switch off currents between emitter and collector with the help of a small current in base right this is how transistor works and by the way we are going to study operational amplifier not today okay in op It's quite detailed work and some metrics involved in it. Operative. Op. We'll study later on. Op. Op. Twenty transistors along with yes. the transistor and modern era. Okay. Okay. This is only introduction. So today 
I mean today's class over. Hmm. Today's class is done. So we will study operational amplifier in direct sensing. First of all, introduction of direct sensing and then operational amplifier how and how there's construction different kind of diagrams. So we will study in the next class. Okay. Okay.